All right, y'all, we here again with another video, a week done passed. So let's jump into this video. This is coming from another guy. So happened to be a college student. So pretty much his story goes like this. His college girlfriend, you know, monkey branch to someone else. I, it's like I get millions of emails about monkey branching and rebounds relationships and stuff like that. But let's jump into it. So anyway, um, she monkey branched to someone else, but his ex-girlfriend keep watch of him and she think he, but he think she is obsessed with him because every time he trying to move on, she gets mad, but she's in a rebound relationship. So what can he do? All right, cool. Signs your ex is still obsessed with you, still want you, still hung up over you, even though they're in a whole nother relationship with someone else. It's kind of like, like you, they want you to remain the same while they're in a relationship. It's like you stay single. No, no, that's not it. It's like you still in a relationship with them, but in their mind, they're single. So that's kind of make them crazy so this is the signs that you know they assess over you you know even though they might be in a a whole nother relationship so one signs they still want you and they assess over you and they don't want you to move on is they keep in touch with your family members they could be your friends, your brother, your cousin, your daddy, your granddaddy, your mama, grandma, your children, children. They just keep in touch with them, you know, for whatever reason, your pastor, the community, your next door neighbor, whoever, the mailman. They just keep in touch with someone who knows you. So therefore, they're not really letting you go. They're like, OK, well, tell me what that person doing. How they look? Did they have on this color shirt? What they wearing these shoes? Did they have the, you know, the Jumpman 11s on? They keeping in touch. So that mean they still want you to, and they might be a little bit obsessed with you. So, and on, on top of that, just say like you have kids. The next thing that you know, you know, y'all broken up and they're in another relationship with someone else, but they always try to find time to pick a conversation with you. They're not picking a conversation with you because, oh, I just miss you so much. They're trying to pick a conversation with you to pick up, pick, pick, you know, what you're doing in life. Is you moving on? Is you finding someone better? Is you replacing me? That's why they're picking conversations with you. Really, they don't give a damn about you. They just don't want you to do better without them and replace them with someone that's better. And you go on to be happy. Remember what I say this. Their misery comes from your happiness. See, when you happy, they is unhappy. Because remember, when people break up with you, they expect you to be miserable without them. Because people is egotistical. You know, a lot of people are very egotistical. Most people are like, well, they're narcissists and all that good man. Look, people are egotistical and they only care about themselves. That's the number one thing they people care about. The, the people favorite word is their name and the word you. You say those their name and the word you in the conversation. They'll listen to whatever you got to say because that's what people only care about themselves. So when they pick a conversation with you, they don't give a damn about what you got going on in your life. Really, it's like is you doing better without me? Is you replacing me? Is you happy without me? That's all they care about. So. Another thing that show you that they still assess with you and they still secretly want you, even though they over there monkey branching, being a hoe for the street and for someone else, you know, let people run all up in their little vagina and all that stuff like that. This goes for women and men too, you know, run up all up in their body and stuff like that. They probably were cheating on it. The, they're going to cheat on the new person too. Don't worry about it. how you meet them is how, how they meet them is how they're going to leave. You know, I'm saying slow. How, how they meet them is how they're going to lose them. That makes sense. How you meet them is how you lose them. So 
And they're going to, if they cheat on you, they're going to get cheated on or they're going to, you know, they're going to start cheating with someone else. And time, nine times out of 10, when they start cheating, the cheating out, the outfit they're going to have on when they go cheat, they're going to have on a bonnet on. And they're going to have them black leggings on and they're going to have some furry flip flop shoes on or something, something like that. And they're going to drive the Nissan Altima to the crime scene. Now, if it'll do, they're going to have on um, some basketball shorts or so some Jordan Jumpman 11s or something like that. Or, or, or what else they have on? Um, or is, you know, a, a regular on. Um, a jersey on, not this kind of jersey, but a jersey like a basketball jersey or something like that. And, you know, or some, you know, some tight ass, you know, nut hugging ass jeans on. That's the outfit of them cheaters. So anyway, if they, if when they come around you and for whatever reason, you're like, hey, can you go to the store and grab me some milk or grab me some juicy juice? You know, uh, something like that, or, or can you go to the store and get the baby, you know, wick stuff filled? You know, you know, they give you the wick vouchers. Like, can you go to the store and grab the wick vouchers and stuff? And they still run errands for you? That's a clear sign they still have an interest in you and they assess over you, even though they're in a rebound relationship with someone else and they still run errands for you? Come on. If they have no care for you, they have no love for you, they will not run no errands for you. They will not go to the store and use them wig vouchers for you. You know, they will they will be indifferent towards you. So I'm not gonna ramble on just the video. So um the meaning of this is to I forgot to you know what my train of thought, but anyway, just leave them alone. If they over there on the other side with a rebound relationship or whatever, and that's their business. That's their business. Remember, don't bash them and stuff like that. Just move on. Remember, they not yours. They're not yours. It was just your turn. Your turn is up. Now it's the new sucker turn. Let that, you know, let that person have them. You know, you had your turn. Now just move on. Stop being selfish. You know, these, these hoes for everybody. And that's what they're leaving you to go be. A hoe. So let these hoes be a hoe. These hoes for everybody, the community, they for the streets. Let them go. Shit. You know, every time you're trying to interfere with their hoeing, they're going to bash you and downplay you what you're doing. You know, pretty much cut you down to size. And then after that, play victim. So with that being said, if you need to get in contact with me, you can shoot me an email. Send me an email at, you know, email right here at the bottom of the screen. Um... If you need to get in contact and talk to me so we can have a one-on-one, -on -one, you can send me an email, I mean, um, text message. If you don't want to do that, you can also purchase my audio books, you know, on Amazon and Audible, you know, Position of Power and on the prize, you know, and I'm currently working on a new book right now. But with that being said, oh, I forgot. You can also follow me on Rumble because at YouTube, they don't pass out, you know, notifications and this man this youtube platform you know i don't max this out so it's time to go on to the next platform and that's rumble you know i'll leave a link in the description and with that being said now nah, i'm gone peace